Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, I have so many good news for you today guys because we have recovered successfully our channel and to those of you who have not known what happened in the past few days, well, I must tell you that we were hacked and our channel was greatly compromised by these hackers. They changed the name, they privatized the video, and they really had made some devastations to our channel. It was not anymore seen by our subscribers and the public. And I'm so glad today because we were able to recover and I would like to commend or honor uh, three persons. Number one is my daughter, Paula Alexis Ando. Actually, my cameraman is also assisting and doing some effort to assist my daughter, Paula Alexis Ando. His name is uh, Neil Boy, the Zipwreck in Facebook. And there are two men that volunteered to recover our channel or assist us. John Ray Bisnir and Kenneth Alex. Guys, I owe you a lot. Thank you so much. And because of that tragedy that we had experienced, uh, I decided to make a live streaming tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the evening, Philippine time. And maybe our viewers abroad can also watch this live streaming. And I hope that we can interact with each other. I will be entertaining your questions. And also, I'd, I would like to entertain you with my favorite songs, love songs. And also my daughter will sing and that's gonna be a fun between us and our community and another good news that I can tell you is the start of our aquaponics you've been telling me that you have to start with aquaponics since you already have this fish and we did it and you will also see our greenhouse come on you will see our greenhouse that is already filled with lettuce. We already have made the first harvest. They're very healthy. And this is the second batch. And I have tried using the rounded PVC and it works good. It works well. Just the same with this uh, rectangular PVC. And I must tell you that this process is really a very effective process. This uh, NFT, nutrient film technique, where we flood and drain the water. And you will see that the lettuces are really now about to be harvested and another thing that I can share with you is the start of our aquaponics
actually we started with this uh, fresh water spinach this is called the chinese kangkong here in our locality and you will see right here we use the water of this uh, catfish and they are growing actually very naturally and very fast and they're fat and maybe you will ask Dexter how did you do these things well with the use of this uh, styrofoam I made holes in the styrofoam and of course I allowed my staff to also experience making holes of this uh, styrofoam and then we put the cup with this uh, coco choir and then we planted the seeds so you will see that the result is very effective you will see that the water spinach are really sprouting and they are already very visible and i can now conclude that the water from the catfish which contains high ppm actually 1100 ppm and it has a ph level of seven and this is good for this aquaponics and this is naturally grown no nutrient solution had been added it was just the you know the water of the catfish i believe that the ammonia that is produced by the fish right here in the tank is the best food also for our plants and you can see the result right here they're floating and they're growing And another good news that I can tell you is the hatching of our quails. Well, we just have started our quail farm and I told you that I would like to start small and think big. Now we already have more than 300 layer quails. And I'm so happy about this because we have only started hatching with few eggs, dozens of eggs, and now they are already plenty. So this is the cage of our quails and you will see that they are so healthy and I can sense that by the next couple of days they can start laying their eggs and there are more than 300 now. I can now imagine the business of quail is back in the coming days because this has been my business, the first business that I ever engaged the duck farm and the squail farm and it gives us good result, good income 
and we were able also to help the community and because of the COVID-19 pandemic it was shut down because we suffered losses because of the lockdowns and we revived this project and it is here now. I'm very positive about this and also I would like to say that in quail farming we have to maintain this uh, cleanliness of, of the cage and you will also see that I have just recently concluded that it's not good to pile up our cage. It's better to have a single pile so that we can clean it very effectively or very easily. And also, I would like to say that the inclination of our floor should be only have the difference of two inches. So from there to here, it has a difference of two inches because if you will make it deep, meaning more than two inches, maybe three or four, then the eggs will just roll and be broken. So by the difference of two inches inclination, you can safely say that the eggs will just roll down very slowly. And another tip that I can give you is that your chicks, the chicks of the squail, really needed a warm light until 15 days. You do not detach the warm light from them when they are less than 15 days old because they are really very vulnerable to disease if they are exposed to cold temperature. And this is what we are doing actually right here. And you will see that we have mixed them and they are already eating and I I have already gathered some dozens of eggs right here, from here. The first batch, which uh, compose only of around 15 hens, have already started laying their eggs. And I would like to encourage you once more about this quail farming. And please stay tuned to this channel because we are actually engaging people by means of, you know, sharing our best practices, our failures, our successes victories in order for our viewers and subscribers and even followers could learn from the practices that we have adopted and if you are not subscribed to this channel may i humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and i would like to see you in our live tomorrow at seven o'clock in the evening and i will be singing some songs and i will be entertaining some of your questions and see you guys in our live streaming tomorrow, only here at Dexter's World!